Good morning, you two. How y'all doing? I've got a upgrade I want to make on the boat today. We were supposed to go fishing, it's taking grandbabies fishing, but we got <clears throat> 50 degrees and 17 mile an hour wind, so that's not good weather to take grandbabies fishing in. So I decided I'd come out and do an upgrade on my boat, and this is what we're doing. All right, so it's a onboard charger inlet. So I've got a 24 volt trolling motor. So I got two 12 volt batteries on, in the center console of the boat to run that. And I've got a uh, dual or two bank charger mounted in there to keep those batteries charged, okay? So why do I need that inlet? Cause I'm charging them right now without it. But I'll show you right now. All right, so there you go. There's the center console. There's a cord hanging out of it. That is the cord to the charger that plugs into the extension cord so I can charge them. To do that, I have to leave my center console open like it is in this picture. All right? I don't want to do that anymore. So what I'm going to do is install this bad boy. And you're going to follow along with me. What you're going to need for the install? Well, of course you need the piece I already showed you, the part you're installing. You're going to need a bit that can drill a hole for you okay this one's pretty unique it uses a one and seven eighths hole and i've got a couple different sets of hole saw bits like that but none of them have a one and seven eighths in it so i had to search for that sucker and buy it online now pay attention if you buy one of these kits and make sure don't just go get a one and seven eighths because i said so check and make sure that's what your instructions say okay you're gonna need a screwdriver because we're going to be attaching the uh the lines to the plug and they use screws you're going to need a wire cutter and wire trimmers because we got to cut that uh cord end off and then we got to trim those wires uh, so that we can attach them and then of course cut the hole with that bit you need a hand drill some tape i'm going to put the tape on the area that i'm going to drill into <clears throat> so that it doesn't uh, mar up the outer edge as it drills through it okay that's pretty much it pretty simple so when I go to do it, <clears throat> I'm going to get in there in that center console and clear out everything because it's going to go right here. It's going to go right about here, right? So the plug will be right there. But I got, before I drill through there, of course, I'm going to check the back of that and make sure it's all clear. <clears throat> all right, so you can see my spot, right? Put the tape over it, cleaned it a little bit so the tape would stick good. Um, next step is grab the drill drill the hole. I already checked behind it, moved anything that was in the way. I know I got some wires I got to watch out for. And that's it. All right, so I want it centered. I'm keeping it up. There's a mounting bracket down here I don't want to hit. And I want to kind of keep it up a little bit so that it's, if I put it down at the bottom and the water does get in the boat, you know, it's supposed to be pretty much waterproof, but you never know. So I like to have it up elevated a little bit. Just fine center. Some of you, depending on how you install it, you might have to take some exact measurements to get your hole perfectly where you want it. For me, since I got a nice broad area here with nothing behind it, it's easy to just put the tape in, center it by eyeballing it like that, and going to town. That's it. There you go. You got a hole. See the wires right back there that I had to avoid? Luckily, you don't have to go in very deep to do this. So, that's probably one of the easiest parts of the whole install because the wiring will be a little more difficult, but that's next. All right, let's take a quick look at the pieces that comes with this little setup, all right? There's your brand name. I'll put a link to this in the, in the description below. This is your plug, all right? So it's got a rubber boot on the back you gotta take off. This is gonna slide over your cord as it comes out that hole. And then this one actually has two uh, mounting features, okay? So I've got this metal ring that this will go in the hole, the ring will be over the cord, it'll come up to the back side from inside, tighten down, and hold it in place. Okay, that's one option to mount it. The other is... You have three screws like this one, okay? And so you've got on the front of this three holes and you can mount it from the front. So I'd put it in, hook everything up. I'd have to drill the pilot holes for those and then I'd run these screws through. Okay? I'm not a fan of putting the screws in just because there's not a lot of area for them 
because of the inside hole, right? So there's not a lot of area. So I'm gonna do this piece here. That's what we got. So if you look at the back of this, hopefully the camera can focus on this. There's three spots. There's a black, silver, and a green, okay? In the instructions, when you cut that uh, plug end off of that cord from the charger, you strip those back, it'll tell you, depending on what color those wires are, which one of these it plugs into. And then all you do, you stick it in and you tighten the screw, okay? And I actually, make sure my screwdriver's the right size. Yeah, and it gives you the option to use a Phillips or a flathead screw. All right, so that's what we're dealing with. All right, so we've got the cord cut. It was a really long cord. I don't need all that in there, but I did keep about, I don't know, eight to 10 inches extra, uh, just in case. So now, remember, these gotta be on that cord before I attach it. So I'm gonna pull it back through the hole. Actually, these, this one back. I'm gonna pull it through the hole, get the boot over it, and just slide that up out of the way. Get the metal ring that's gonna lock this thing to the back of this hole, and boom. Okay, next step, strip those wires and attach the uh, plug. We'll do that now. All right, so we've got the three the plugs off, right? We already did that. We've got the three main wires stripped and ready to go. We've got a white wire, a black wire, and a green wire. Yours can differ. The good thing about the kit is on the instructions it says, like for the green one, insert the green or green with white stripe wire into the terminal with the green screw so not only do they have colored screws right a green a black and a silver but the holes they go into in the back are color coordinated too okay so let's go ahead and insert the green wire so the screws backed out and it, the covers on everything that's supposed to be on might have to strip this back a little bit more we'll see so the green goes on green the white goes to silver and the black goes to black okay might have said that wrong though that's how it goes green on green black on black white on silver so i'm gonna strip this back a little more before we uh all right green and green we should get out of the way from that. Let's just use green in there and tighten it down and see what happens. Get in there, green. Okay. Black on black. All this stuff is easier to do if it's not on the boat already, but of course the charger is already installed on the boat. Okay, and then white on the silver. Get in there, white. All the way in there, buddy. tight now nobody's coming out all right when it says to install this into the hole they want you to have that one u-shaped to the top okay and so then again this can come to the top too so when you close it right it's nice and sealed okay so it needs to go back in just like this then we're going to tighten that one that's on the back side up to it then we're going to pull our sleeve back over that covered it and then we're going to plug it in and make sure the thing works. Alright, this is a tight fit. You'll see that right now. So get everything lined up where you want it before you start sticking it in there. Boom. Just like that. Alright? Alright. That when I tighten this, one thing you might worry about is that whole thing rotating. I don't think it'll be able to pour it in. The rubber boot is going on next. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. There's no way to get the camera up inside there. All right, rubber boot, do your thing. 
it's all hooked up. So let's plug in the charger and my lights on my charger will indicate whether the thing's working right or not. Let's give it a shot. Okay. No explosions, no shocks. And I got lights. It worked, people. It worked. There you go. Not that hard, right? We'll take another look at it real quick. There it is. Pretty simple. Alright, so that took me all of about maybe 20 minutes. Um, very simple install. You can do yourself if you have a few hand tools like you saw. Um, yeah, some folks don't like to do this kind of work on their own boats. And if you don't, you get your boat shop to install it for you. I'm not sure what it costs, but it's well worth it. Because now, my center console can stay closed. And then I also have a cover for the center console, which will fit better without that door open. So that's it, folks. That was the install on my inlet. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up for the video if you liked it. Comment whatever you'd like to comment. I check them all. Okay. And uh, we'll catch you all splater.